Hello audience, I bought some parts and I'm going to get back to work on this thing. Well, I trimmed the sill back a little more and the frame rail back here where the bumper bracket bolted on was bent up, so straighten that out a little. Now because of all the patchwork back here, I just decided to trim the sill off and just replace it from here back with a new one. Now the wells, as you can see, they've been patched already. This is a replacement panel. Now the patch job seems to be holding, so we're not going to do anything with that. Now back here, we removed this piece and discovered a few more things. First of all, this thing is completely shot. It's got a lot of holes patched up and it's going to need to be replaced. I also discovered this piece here. It's supposed to have a big flange down here where it rivets to the sill and that's all gone. It was just kind of brazed onto that triangle piece a little. Now this holds the hinge pin for the rumble seat. This thing needs to be solid. So I don't think we're going to replace these, but probably what I'm going to do is make a new flange for this when we put the new sills in. These are the new parts I've bought so far. A new sill rear cross member. A pair of half sills. Now these are actually for a 3031 Roadster, which I bought out of convenience. They're not the same, but the part we need off of them interchanges. A new rear bumper crossbar. A new body back panel. A new inner panel. And a new left rear fender. Now this isn't everything we need, but it's enough to get started. So the first thing we need to do is straighten out this quarter panel and get all this undercoating or whatever it is off of it so we can see just what we have. And then we'll start reconstructing it. Well, I've been removing the undercoating in here and I discovered this. A big patch panel that's just kind of thrown in there, not all that well. Now it's really surprising as you look on the other side, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's no seam anywhere in here. There's a little bit of damage right here that's been brazed up, and that's about it. So, why this patch is in here, I have no idea. So, I'm going to try to remove it. All right, it's not perfect, but I got it back to its general shape. Now, this little whoop de doo right here is supposed to be in it. This is not supposed to be straight, so the sill will hold it exactly where it should be.
Well, I got it pretty much as far apart as it's going to get. Now the sills, I trimmed them off right where the cross member is because this is going to hide the weld from underneath. And I also cut a window in here so I can weld the sill from the outside. So the next thing to do is I'm going to try to remove all this rust any way I can. Then we'll trim the new sills down to size and start welding them in. Now we're starting to mock up the new sill to get ready to weld in, and I discovered something. This flange that it attaches to is way too low. As you can see, it's about a half inch too low. Which answers this. I was wondering why the body was lower than the frame back here. And the reason for all this is because this patch panel was attached in the wrong place. It's too low. So, what we're going to do to fix this is remove these and weld them back in in the right location. I really wanted to leave these in place, but it looks like that's not really an option. The good news is, while it's apart, it's going to make it a lot easier to weld the sill together, and it's going to be easier to clean all this up. And now, it's as far apart as it's going to get. Well, that's it for this video. The next immediate step is to start welding in the new sills. Assuming we don't find anything else wrong with this thing. Now, we ended up getting a lot more involved in this thing than I expected. But, then again, that's just the way it is when you're working on cars that are over 90 years old. Now, there may be other additional problems with this thing, like... It may also have a bent frame. We know the rear axle, something, and that's bent. It may also have a cracked bell housing. We'll worry about that later. Right now, what I really want to concentrate on is restructuring the body, because that's the most difficult part of this. Well, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Like, dislike, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.